Hello everyone and welcome to another Tech Tip Tuesday. Today we're going to be discussing the auto recovery function within SOLIDWORKS. So first, let's paint this scenario where you may be working on an important project within SOLIDWORKS, whether that be an assembly, a part model, some drawings. So you've made some progress, but all of a sudden SOLIDWORKS crashes and you forgot to save periodically. And so now you start worrying about whether all the changes you've made thus far are all for nothing and that they've been lost. Well, today we're going to be showing you how you can use the auto recovery function to help save all those potentially lost files by creating backups periodically, as well as getting reminders for when to save every so often. So let's get started. Now, the first thing that happens whenever you experience a crash in the middle of a design process in SOLIDWORKS is that the auto recovery function will kick in and it will do its best to recover the last saved backup of the part that you were working on. These backups are saved to a hidden location within your computer and you can find out exactly where it is by navigating over to the options, system options, backup slash recover, and taking a look at the auto recover key. So right now I have the options set so that the auto recover function will save the part every one minute and you can change this interval to however many you'd like and here you can see the folder where all of our auto recovery backups are going to be stored you can change this to a specific customized location as well if you wish at the bottom here you can see that for the backup section we can have the option to create a number of backup copies per document as well as an option to select the backup folder and to remove backups that are older than a certain number of days. However, if you don't have enough space on your computer, you may not want to use the backup function as this will definitely take up some space as it keeps collecting backup folders and files. But of course, you can always set it to remove certain backups after a certain number of dates as well. Finally, there's also a save notification option within the recover tool where you can set a reminder if the document hasn't been saved for a longer period than the one that you have specified here. In this case, I've set it 15 minutes. So this notification option can be quite handy when you're busy working on an assembly or design and you forget to keep track of the saving progress and this will pop up every so often, reminding you to do so. Regularly saving your files as well as having backup copies of your files is the most important thing to consider to ensure that you have safety of all your files in the event of a crash or unexpected problem on your computer. Now let's go a little bit deeper into the auto recovery function and take a look at where these backup files are stored. So if we navigate over to this location here on our computer, we can see a whole number of files that the auto recovery tool has created for us. You'll notice that each of these files begin with auto recover of followed by the original part name followed by slbprt, which is the SOLIDWORKS file, followed by swar. So the two important things to note there are the first portion where it says auto recover of, and the ending where the part file is actually a .swar file. Now we can actually recover the last saved instance of the actual original part as a SOLIDWORKS part by simply renaming the file and deleting the auto recover of portion as well as the dot swar portion. Say yes to that and now we have the original part in its last backed up form. So now if I open this to SOLIDWORKS I get the last saved instance of this exact same file. So the next time you experience a crash or a loss of data in SOLIDWORKS be sure to check out the auto recovery tool as well as the folder location to see if there's a saved backup of your copy somewhere that you can use to then pick up back where you left off. That's it for today's Tech Tip Tuesday and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.